Hello everyone, I am Beth Scolded. Welcome back. I am going to do a canvas toe today. This was the blank of the month for Artist Spree in uh, December. However, you can use any toe as long as it's at least an 80% polyester blend. Uh, that'll give you a nice crisp image. If you want a distressed image, you can do 50 to 80%, but I wouldn't recommend that. I like an 80% blend and you can find that pretty much you know at your local craft store or you know hobby store whatever I'm going to be using this stamp set and then I created a stencil on my scanning cut for my tote and the stencil that I did was basically you want to take your stencil and t write down what you what you want to say on your scanning cut. Just put it into in there. And from there, you go ahead and have it cut out. And you flip it over onto a piece of copy paper, or in this case, two pieces of copy paper. And you just go ahead and color it in, trace it, whatever you want to do. Now for this one, it is rather large. This did not fit on my regular piece of copy paper so we rotated it like this and it's this funny saying that says don't be a Richard so I'm gonna take this off we're gonna sublimate it. I'm gonna show you how you can do that but first I just want to make sure that there's no pieces no like stray marks that I need to cover with my heat resistant tape it all looks pretty good I'm just taking off that temporary adhesive And then from here, I'm just going to go ahead and trim this down. I apologize for my dog. This is going to take at least three, I'm thinking four passes with my iron over it pressing because um, I have these three pieces that won't all fit under the iron. So I'm going to basically figure out where I want this on my um, bag and then I'm going to start to sublimate from there piece by piece. I did go ahead and put a piece of silicone paper between the in the bag to protect the back side and to also capture that heat so that image does transfer nicely. I'm going to add her later. Right now I just want to just get this lined up so I know where I'm gonna go. I think that that's a pretty good placement because that'll allow, allow her to be up here somewhere as well. I'm gonna sublimate this first. Make sure I get my silicone paper on top. Taking my iron and I am just going to press firmly down for three minutes. I am not gonna iron back and forth. I am pressing. I really want that heat to get in there force that image into a gas and then force it onto the canvas tote. That is what sublimation is. And I used, just so you know, I used my sublimation markers by Artist Spree. This little pack right here, there's a pack of 10. Uh, and um, I just outlined my stencil in that. If you want to learn more about sublimation, I do have quite a few videos here. I'm going to create a playlist for sublimation. Really just a lot of fun to take your paper crafting art and put it on other substrates that is permanent. I love it. It doesn't wash out. It doesn't rub out. I mean, it's awesome. It lasts the lifetime of your, basically whatever you're, you're sublimating on. So in this case, a bag, you can do it on metal tags, you can do it on tumblers, you can do it on book markers, um, t-shirts, as long as there is at least an 80% polyester blend or coating, you are good to go. So it's such a fun thing to do. I also like it when I see kids create art with the sublimation markers, which are totally safe for them, by the way. And, uh, you can sublimate that onto something as a gift for the grandparents or, you know, to keep for yourself. If you have a little baby, you can stamp their little feet with the stamp pad and put that on a 
on something and keep their little footprints. So fun stuff like that. All right. That has been three minutes, super hot. So be very careful. And I'm gonna put that down. I'm not, I wanna do some more sublimation up there. I have gone ahead and taped down the second one and now I am waiting another three minutes to get the top of this done and then I'm gonna put three minutes on the bottom as well. I got it sublimated, so let's see what we have here. Pretty cute. Now we're going to take this little gal and we're going to put her Almost done with a three minute press. Something that I forgot to show you guys is uh, the silicone mat I am using. This also really helps heat things up and the sublimation to transfer nicely. All right, we're to three minute. Let's see our girl here. Voila, there's our sassy little bag. How cute is that? Love it. All right, so if you're interested in anything that I used, I will have it all down below in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you consider doing so. Also make sure you hit that notification bell so you can see when I have a video that has come out right away. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you know of anyone who would be interested in this type of art or craft, please share. That'd be awesome. Until next time, I'm Bets Golden.